Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as the Harbingers of Disaster. So, a pretty late game Empire army is attacking a badly damaged uh, Herdstone army at Castle Drakenhof. Now, the thing is, you don't really need to hold on to your Herdstones, especially if you've already done the, um, uh, the Ritual of Ruin. However, if we do lose this one, he loses the, the global bonuses from that. Uh, which I actually can't remember exactly where it is. Um, I think it's magic resistance. Anyway, our army is just really, really badly damaged. So it's like, it's, just, it's basically a half strength army. Um, battle result being decisive defeat doesn't seem good, but the fact that we've got artillery in here actually gives us a bit of hope because the Centigals do have enough strength to be able to kill them in melee, but we really need to utilize our terrain and everything that we've got to our advantage here to, to get the upper hand. This guy is also going to be a fair bit dangerous, but we'll see what we can do. It's kind of a low stakes battle, I feel like, just because, you know, if you end up losing any particular settlement as a beastman, it just doesn't really matter that much. Unless it's like your last one, and you're really running on fumes. But, I'll take on the challenge and see what we can do with this. Alright, so, I'm going to put the stalking units in the corner here. I need the centicles to be hidden. What we need to do is try to get the enemy artillery isolated from their main forces. I think we'll do that using the Cygors. Cygor. So if I can start shooting at their units to begin with and draw them away while also getting shot by the enemy artillery, there'll be a distance. The Manticore is probably going to get chased by the enemy general. Um, so that's great. I'll see if I can lure him over here, bring him down, but we'll see. Everyone else needs to hide over here, just for the time being. We really can't bring them out until the Hellstorm rocket batteries and mortars are dealt with, because we'll just take way too much damage, and we're already really badly damaged, so we just can't afford to do that. Alright, is everyone kind of... No, no, we gotta deal with these guys. Minotaurs as well. Minotaurs could be sort of like our secondary cavalry unit. And this guy... I'd bring him out here to cast spells, but the problem is their general will just take us out straight away. I've got to find some way to get rid of him first. Alright, let's see what we can do. So get these to start coming around the back. Okay, that guy looks like he's going straight for the Manticore, not for the Saigor. Which is good, that's what I want it to do. Well, that's not really going to do much damage to us. But the war wagons will. Yeah, war wagons actually beat Cycle in this situation here. Um, not sure how I'm going to deal with that. Minotaurs can handle them though, they're faster than. You know, the speed is 66 versus... Yeah, they're faster. Okay, hang on, hang on. The general is going after the side guard. This is good, this is good. If we can bring the general down, the giants will actually do a pretty good job killing the general. We're going to take some damage there. Alright, Manticore. Get down. Keep him pinned down until the uh, giants arrive. He's got a potion of toughness as well. No, 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 no. That's it, that's it, that's it. Stay down, stay down. Keep him pinned down. Let's get in there. Get in there. Taking out their general early would be really good. Ah! <laughs> Fucking did no da Oh, he dropped down his potion of toughness. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Bloody slippery bastard. Don't engage with him. I think he's faster than us. Oh, I fucking hate Manticores so much. Oh my god, do I hate Manticores. I don't think he's gonna come down after it. I can't do anything about it. I can't. Well, quick, use cold blooded legend, quick! Yeah. At least he's used up his fucking potion.
And the Manticore did do a tiny little bit of damage, but goddamn do I hate Manticores. Alright, he's going back down again. Come on, Giants, you're just too fucking slow. Alright, good, they're starting to keep some distance. I would move this guy closer, uh, but then they'll see us. That's it, take him out. Come on, dipshit, try to cut off his escape. Okay, let's bring the uh, the Minotaurs out over here. See if I can get into them a little bit. Uh, these these giants are going to get totally wrecked by missile units. Even just charging in there would be a huge mistake. At least I can semi dodge them a little bit from a distance. But yeah, if we charge into there, these giants are just going to fucking die. Let's get in there and get rid of the artillery. You guys just hang back. Uh, yep, you guys go in there. Go 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 go. Try to separate a little bit. Yeah, they're not super susceptible to that. You know, you're about to get wrecked. But, their artillery, if all goes well for us here, is quite vulnerable. That's it, just don't worry about them. It would have been great if we could have killed their general, but they're, they're totally outmatched in this situation. And they've done their job, they've been a distraction. Now, this here is worth way more than what they've got. That what they're taking out here. So this is very much worth it for us, taking out their artillery here. This was really good. Uh, I think the Saigor just died. Alright, just... I think we just gotta do the best we can with our giants to try to dodge shots. Because, yeah, the closer we get, they're just gonna die straight away. These giants are shit. But we got rid of all their artillery. That's really good. That's a good start. Okay, now I'm going to bring this guy out. If they want to send the general to go snipe him, he'll meet with our infantry. Now, I'm, I'm not too concerned about our infantry getting discovered, but let's try to set up a trap for them. So what I'm trying to do here is just, just try to get them to use up as much of their ammo as possible. Because I'm going to have a hard time getting them with the infantry. And I just I can't do anything with the giants now. Good. Just try to get them to shatter. Good. The artillery really didn't get much done there. I'd love to charge in and just get one swipe in on that dude, but I wouldn't get it. Yeah, come over here. Ah, it's gone. Whatever. Um, if you stay in the absolute corner there, that's probably the best way for you to fight, because that way um, you're not going to get totally surrounded, which is one of the things that sucks for giants. Alright, is he... Okay, they're just sending one unit over here. That's that's a, just a trap for them. Alright. He is faster than the great swords. So maybe I'll actually try to get him out of there. Just squeeze on through if possible. Mm, I don't think it's going to happen. Just, you know, do the best you can. <laughs> try and, you just can't cycle charge with giants. They're too slow. Fucking shit unit. Uh, that's not the, the worst positioning ever. But, you know, almost max tier experience, plus on... What difficulty? No, it's actually not on very hard battle difficulty. one of those people that play on legendary difficulty campaign and normal battle difficulty. It's actually quite common. Oh, I... I didn't cast that great, but... Better than nothing, it's okay. Alright, our guys over here could use a little bit of a rest. We've, we've got this one. As soon as he gets in close here, he's a goner. Uh, the giants... I don't know, I mean, it was at half health. Alright, units are revealed. This guy's a goner. 
Yeah, he's, he's getting the fuck out of there. It's too late. My units are faster than him. And he's realized it. Good. So I need to wrap around him too quickly. Because he's just going to die straight away. Okay. Okay, okay. Now the next biggest threat is surprisingly the, um, the war wagons. Kind of. Not, like, they're not good units, but... They, they can do a decent amount of damage output, I guess. Decent amount of wind reserves. Okay, have the best of gores go back over here. Just have the gores run that one down. Yeah, if we can get him to waste some ammo, that'd be good. Sending a couple units over here. No, the giant's still fighting. It's definitely gonna die, but it's still it's still kicking. Alright, get those guys out of there. I was hoping they would have run it down by now, but they were, just didn't manage it. Okay, now I'm gonna run around these and go after the missile units. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I need you back over here. We gotta deal with this fucking guy here. I'd rather he not kill my spellcaster. Eh, yeah, giant's still kicking. Still swinging. Alright, stay away from that. Now, try to really get him surrounded there so he doesn't fly away again. I want him dead. It'll make it a lot easier to route their troops. Yeah, giant's gone. Okay, and our centigors are about to hit their missile units. Okay, these guys here should be able to take on a war wagon. They're, they're faster than it. Good, we killed the enemy lord. Great stuff. Get notifications. So annoying. I think we got him. Because, like, our melee infantry should actually do okay here. Because we've killed their lord. And their missile units are in complete disarray now. Should be able to kill those war wagons pretty quickly. Work on that one. Okay, so, you know, the war wagon did a little bit of damage, but we got him. Oh, we got him. There we go. Army losses. How about that? I think that's a fairly early army losses, too. They've just got an unbreakable unit here. Um, cool, just go in there and run them down wherever we can. I think our maneuver of pulling their main army away from their artillery really won us this battle because that was, like if we had let that artillery shoot into our infantry, that would have killed us. But they just didn't get a chance to do any serious damage and it's worth so much balance of power. It would be good to get rid of this witch hunter. Yeah, actually get the uh, centicles to sort that out. Didn't need these guys here at all. But it's good to have them in backup. I was trying to bring them in to use them, but they just didn't get here in time. I think the only unit that really let me down in this battle was the Manticore. But that's to be expected. I mean, okay, I always dump on um, Giants, but the Giants did okay, considering they were badly damaged. At least they kind of fought to the death. And I think the Manticore really let me down. I mean, it's always going to when it goes Rampage, and it does it really early. You just can't do anything about that. All right, speed that up. Because, yeah, if we can kill off the majority of the army, then you should have maybe a couple of turns of rest before they come back. But if you don't 
put an army in here, they're going to send eventually a force that's going to be able to beat this. Who knows, they might send another force right after this. You never know. Let's find out. But yeah, in those sort of situations where you are outpowered, it's really important that you don't just set your army up right in front of them and just charge in. You're just not going to win. You've, you've got to you got to sneak and hide and separate their forces. Cool. So they've barely got anything remaining there. Would have been cool if we could have wiped them out utterly. But, uh, looks like you could use some money. So I'll do that and... Ooh, yeah, more's on the way. Okay, what, what do you got here? Underway interception. Oh, what have you got? Okay, okay, okay. Should I do this for him? I think I could do it for him. Um, I don't see this as being overly difficult. I know the battle result says close to feet. It was like, oh no, you're gonna lose that. But we've actually got a tactical advantage here. We've got a speedy dude and a bunch of stalking ones uh, with some winds of magic. Have you got arcane conduit? Yeah, okay. How much does it cost you to use, um, where is it? The spell, trader kin, five winds of magic. Cool, I think that's the lowest it can go for them. Yeah, I think we can handle this. Biggest problem is, of course, going to be Ongrim. Um, uh, uh, like, Ungor Raiders, are we? Mm, this is, this is going to be tight in this position here. Uh, Ungor Raiders are not good at dishing out damage to Ongrim, so we really need to make sure we preserve as much ammo as we can for that. Um, and it definitely would be better if we were out in the open, because eventually he's just going to get to the edge here, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, hang on. Why don't we on the other side here. Yeah, there we go. They don't know we're coming. Okay, cool. That way we'll just lure them in this direction and I'll just try to get him around. That, that buys us a lot of time there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's firstly... Yeah, probably best I just waste the ammo of the artillery, especially if they're just going to stand there. Oh yeah, because we're the attacker in this situation because we've, we've intercepted them. Because, yeah, the closer I get, the more accurate they're going to be. And it doesn't take that long to get rid of it. And this is just a good way to sort of get the army losses. Kind of. I mean, the army losses isn't going to affect Ungrim. But it will affect the rest of his units. Other things that we can do to damage Ungrim, apart from using the Ungor Raiders, is also the Savage Dominion. It would have been good if he had that uh, buff spell. That's quite useful. But I guess this is a low-tier horde. He doesn't have it yet. Could have had our Ungor Raiders come in from the rear and shoot them, but this is actually better. Better use of the bounce of power. Because this way we don't use up any ammo. We're really going to need a ton to get rid of Ungrim, because he's got tons of missile resistance and armor. And these guys who are very bad at dealing with like tiny single entities. It's the only unit in this army that we're going to struggle with. So we have to make sure everything else is uh, dealt with quite easily. Let's have a look here. They don't have any guns, right? Yeah, it's just quarrelers. Okay. Um, it would be best for us if we got rid of all of their ammo as well. Ah, so much cheese. Yes, yes. Okay. I know we're not playing Skaven, but whatever. Um, just because it's easy to do this. And once we get rid of all of their ammo, we can get them to blob up a lot easier. So we'll make better use out of our magic if we do this. Because, yeah, I kind of want to be able to inflict the army losses on them without even these guys here being detected. <laughs> without using up any of their ammo. Because the more of our ammo that we use up, the harder it's going to be to inflict the army losses. Because their, their ammo is worth more than their lives. 
But the magic, the magic's our best bet against the dwarves here. You wouldn't think that because magic, you know, dwarves are resistant against magic, but not really. Not if you get some really good casts in. So at this point here, the bouncer power is probably in our favor, but... You know, if I send these guys in right now, it'll just be one of those sort of battles where it's like fighting down to the very last man. Whereas, I don't really want to do that. I'd much rather do this the best way I possibly can, which is just wipe out the entire army with magic, because I can do that. I think we've got enough. Um, and then just shoot the crap out of Ungrim. If I've got any um, Cygors left, I'll do that, because we've got, we've got two in here, and they're not going to be particularly useful against the units. Let's see. So yeah, we've only taken a little bit of damage here. After these guys have run out of ammo, there is no way in hell that they're going to have any chance of catching up to us. It's one of the things that makes the dwarves kind of shit, their lack of mobility. Okay, they're almost done. Then as soon as I cast one spell, they'll start chasing us, and that's what we want. And then I want to sort of like go around in circles around them. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me just recover my fatigue. Oh, I don't really need to. I'm not like I'm going into melee. And even even that uh, tired, they're not going to catch me. So we just need to get one trader kin down. Just on. Just on the set. I actually can charge into quarrelers. That should be okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But be wary about charging into longbeards. Alright, so damage done so far is not great, but now they'll start blobbing up a little bit. S especially if I do this. I just gotta get around their back. Just keep weaving in and out through their lines. Yeah, they're starting to blob up a bit more, that's what we want to see. Okay, that looks like a decent cast in there. Take like that. And I think for five wins of magic, that's doing a really good amount of damage. But ideally, we want to be hitting their their entire army. So, just see if we can find spots where we can get them. That's it. This is looking good here. That's what we want to see. Because they've only got melee units left now. So now they really want to get into melee. That's it. Dishing out some decent damage. And have a ton of reserves. That's it. Basically, just give, a, give them really close bait so they go for it. Sometimes you've got to present your weak underbelly to catch the prey. But yeah, they still want to go kind of wide. Okay. Charging in. Every time we charge in, we take a little bit of damage, which isn't ideal. Also, this spell here, I think it does say it's um, strong versus a single combatant. But if we have a look here at how much damage is being done to Ungrim. <laughs> that's that's a big fat no. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Sometimes this shit lies to you. Strong versus single combatant. Lo load of garbage. Load of garbage. Not true. Okay, we need to lure them away from our main forces. Yeah, they counter charge at us. What's going on there? Lure them back this way. That's it. Don't don't go over there. But overall, with uh, 23, 4,000 damage being done, this guy here has already done his worth, but he needs to do a lot more if we want to get it like an easy victory here.
So come on, blob up some more. 30 wins. We're going to make sure we get those good casts in. Good thing about Traderkin is that it doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage, but it actually kills units, which is quite useful. Whereas Flock of Doom, as a comparison, does a lot of damage, but takes quite a lot of cast before it actually starts killing anyone. Okay, that looks pretty tasty on this side over here. Let's see if we can get Ungrim with it every now and again, just because even if we only do like 10 damage to him, it's better than nothing. It, it does nothing to him. Strong versus single combatant. My ass. So yeah, don't trust what it says. It lies. Oh yeah, we did like 80 damage there. 78. So try to get them into the corner over here. Just because they're trying to flank us and they kind of blob up a bit more on the edges. Starting to run a little bit low on wins. But it's definitely looking good so far, I think. That's it. Come on, come at me, bro. It. Nice blobs forming up now. That's what we want to see. That's good. All right, damage being done. Forty-five thousand. That's good. Just want to feign a charge there, try to get these guys here to, to slow down a bit, wait for these guys to catch up so that we can get a nice big fat one of these in. Biggest cluster of them that we can hit. Good, fifty thousand damage. It's also really important that we aim for like the long beards and stuff because the quarrelers aren't going to be that big of a deal, especially with great weapons because they don't have shields. So our Ungrals will do okay against that. Still got to get through 80 armor. But better to go with 80 armor and no shield than fucking 100 armor and shielded. Yeah, pretty long beards. Okay, we're really starting to run low on wins now. But, you know, our Ungrals should be able to handle the rest of this. So it's just going to be a problem dealing with freaking um, Ungrim. Yeah, running really low on wins now. Good victories in our grasp, but we've still got to worry about Ungram. That's the problem here. Like, he's going to take an absurd amount of ammo to kill. This Glade doesn't have regen. Wait, he doesn't have a heal potion, does he? No, good.
Okay, good. That's what we want to see. Nice big cluster. And any time that we can get a nice clean charge in, that's always a bit of a bonus. Yeah, we are running really low now. So we've got 30 wins of magic. That's with an arcane condor, but that means we've got 20 without it. I think what I'll do, because I really want to make the most out of this magic here, is just wait until we get a bit more. Just really suck this dry. And I'll just do some basic charges on the artillery crew, because if they charge back at me, they're going to do, like, no damage. Well, not much damage, anyway. Because, yeah, the more I cast, the slower the, re uh, the recharge rate. One thing that we don't want to do is charge into their long beards. That'd be a huge mistake. Just went till we got that 30 wins magic. One more arcane conduit should get us there. Oh god, that wasn't much of a charge. Hey, this looks good. Look at that huge cluster of them. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. Shit, Christmas came early for... Ah, whatever. Alright, we might be able to cause the army losses, because they're... They're really badly damaged. That way we can just focus all of our ammunition on... Ungrim, which is what I wanted to do. Yeah, I've essentially got five casts left, so I'm gonna overspend my um, Winds of Magic by a little bit, which is what I want to do. Oh shit, those long beards in there. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out. Cycle charging into Ungrim is a bad idea. He's just got a lot of charge resistance and just hits you back. It's not worth it. Okay, just wait for them to move back in on themselves again. Keep running through there. The gaps in the line. Here we go, here we go. This is what we want to see a little bit. It's not amazing, but I'll take it. Hmm. Maybe I won't get the army losses, because I've only got three more casts of this. Four if I'm lucky. Should probably try to aim for the... The, the, the healthier units. So if you ever look at Ungrim's health now, uh, we took him down by like 500 health. So that's something, that's a start. That's gonna s save one whole unit's worth of ammo. Yeah, no, we're not gonna get much more. Come on, I need that cast right now. Now's the perfect time for it. Good, there's the army losses. Alright, casting any more spells at this point. Oh, you know what, we could do the Mantle of Gorok on one of these, that could work. Yeah, that could work alright. That'll do a bit of damage. Don't need to bother running them down because this is an underway intercept. So that'll give them a bunch of extra melee attack, just keep them in the fight. A bit, just dish out as much damage as possible. Cool. Uh, 
Right. Let's bring these guys up. We're not going to be able to get any more regen. I've completely overspent my magic. Uh, but uh, I got another side I might as well use it. It's probably not going to do as much because I can't use another cast of um, Mantle of Gorok. But even if he just gets one hit in, it's better than nothing. But he probably won't. Oh no, he's just a little bit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, thousand damage. That's not. That's not too bad. All right, should be relatively easy for them to now sort this out. Time to turn him into a pincushion. Yeah, while he's trying to go after the general, that would be best. So I'll just feign some attacks in there. Don't want to get friendly fire though. Wow, look at the damage being done. But it's all I've got left. <laughs> He's just too resistant. Back. Shoot him in the back. Yeah, like I said, they're not good against Ongrim. Kind of nothing is. But you know, he is going down. <laughs> Do you see why I wanted to save all my ammunition for Ungram? Just trying to get his attention. I mean, we've got enough Ungrim, Ungrim, uh, Ungor Raiders that we might be able to beat him in melee with them, but he'll take ridiculous casualties. He'll easily kill like 400 of us. This way, he kills nearly none. There's a little bit of friendly fire here and there, that's all. Damn it, man. He just won't go down. What is it down? It's down to a thousand health. Fucking hell. Do you understand why I needed every single shot that I had for just for Ungram? Fucking hell. Because, yeah, because he doesn't, he's not affected by the army losses, we couldn't rely on, f on, on like, just winning the battle normally. Because, like, if we used our army shooting up here, sorry, used up our ammo shooting up his army, um, we would never be able to get rid of him. Okay, looks like he's... Yeah. <laughs> Fucking die. God, such a pain in the ass. And if you're wondering, why not just use skirmish mode? Skirmish mode sucks so badly. What what will end up happening on skirmish mode is that they'll end up blobbing up. And not being able to shoot properly. It's it's really, really bad. Skirmish mode. Basically, only noobs that can't click more than once per minute should ever use skirmish mode. It's it's an absolute rubbish ability. You should never just put your entire army on skirmish mode. It's a really bad idea. Oh my god. What's he down to now? He's down to 700. Oh, we've lost a lot of ammo.
What's he down to now? Down to seven. <laughs> Just under 700. I don't want to put you through this on one time speed. What a pain that would be. It's already a pain on this speed. Fuck off. Alright, yeah, I've got a bunch of units that are out of ammo. God. He's down to now. He's down to. <laughs> okay, I need to reorganize. Because we got a bunch of units in here that just aren't going to shoot. And they're actually getting in the way. Right, so what I'm going to do is get all the ones that are out of ammo. Let's try to reorganize a little bit. Just die already. This is the most annoying shit to deal with. Holy crap. Yeah, Ungrum was worse. Was more difficult to deal with than his entire friggin' army. What's he down to now? 400 health. Oh, I kind of just want to just go into melee with him, but it's kind of a stupid thing to do with, like, Ungor, uh, Ungor, Ungor Raiders. Oh, fuck this. this is so annoying. Just go into melee with him. Probably be quicker. Just, just don't shoot into it. Let's have a look. I can use a devolve on him. No, don't, don't shoot. You're not going to do any damage. Alright, there we go. He's going down. Fuck, that was annoying. Holy crap. So yeah, you can... S probably like halfway through the battle when I was chasing it, you'd be like, Just use your army! But you can see why I wanted to, to save the ammo. I mean, maybe if I had saved a bit more magic, I could have summoned some more Cygors. Uh, but I used all the free Cygors. The other ones are quite expensive. Yeah, take the money. Looks like you need it a little bit. Alright, you're gonna get through the rest of this turn? I don't want to do any more shit battles for you. Alright, well, we got through the turn there, and, you know, the campaign seems like it's going fine. The, the great thing about the uh, Beastman is that, even if you lose battles, you don't really lose anything, apart from, like, characters dying. Um, but yeah, you just constantly gain momentum, so even if you did end up losing Drakenhof and losing that 5% magic resistance, you could, you could take it back. Uh, that being said, it doesn't look like you've got any forces nearby there. Um, you're going to be dealing with a fair bit over the end turn the next end turn. And if we have a look at the garrison here, it hasn't exactly recovered. Can you recruit another army? Uh, you probably could if you purchase another army and then maybe put some regiment of renown in there. That might give you a chance, but otherwise I think we've really bought you just one turn there. Uh, because that army there, I, mean, I don't know how strong it is, but given the turn number, it's probably full of Hellstorm rocket batteries. And if we have a look at the cavalry... Eh, yeah, I think you'll struggle with it if they send more at you, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.